satellite from beautiful Southern California. I'm Larry Matson, along with Jim Henderson. It's a beautiful night here for football, and we're looking forward to the opening kickoff of the final preseason game of this preseason. The biggest question concerning the training camp this year has to be, I would think, the quarterback derby. Well, there's still three of them in it. You wonder, in trying to please everyone, is Bum Phillips again this year pleasing no one? Dave Wilson says he thinks he should be the starter. Perhaps on the evidence of the preseason, he should be as well. He thinks if he is, he should play three quarters tonight. Richard Todd says if Dave Wilson is indeed the starter, he does deserve to play three quarters. And yet, from what we hear, all three of them will play once more. The major concern of training camp right now, perhaps, is around the offensive line. Three injuries right there at the offensive guard position. Well, they're still down to their fourth and fifth guard. No telling when Brad Edelman will be back. They hope perhaps next week uh, for the Kansas City game. Calvin Clark is still hurt. He can't practice on that injured arch. So that is a very big area of concern. The Saints haven't had their number one offensive line together since the first regular season game last year against the Falcons. The Saints were dead last in the giveaway takeaway ratio a year ago. That's something that they want to improve on, but it's something hard and very difficult to work on in training camp. They've got to do that. I see the Saints improve defensively this year from last year. I think they'll somewhat be back to the level that they were two years ago. And yet, I still see the offense as being a ponderous one, one that will not strike quickly. So this year, the Saints defense has got to take more of the, the burden on their shoulders, and they have got to create turnovers so this offense doesn't have to go so far to put points on the board. You know, every training camp has its surprises. This year's biggest surprise, perhaps, is uh, no, none other than uh, Eric Martin out of LSU. The seventh-round draft choice. He has been the one impact player we've seen come out of the draft so far. Also, I think Lindsey Scott, who's leading the team in recent receiving after three preseason games has been a surprise but then again Lindsay's had good preseasons before last year the Saints had trouble stopping the run but that was without Tony Elliott and Derlin Moore who was not healthy this year Derlin seems to be healthy and Tony Elliott is here both appear to be all the way back and certainly in a 3-4 defense you can't afford to have your first and second line guys missing at that one position as the Saints had last year and a big question mark surrounds this entire coaching staff how patient will the fans be with Bum Phillips in 85 I've been somewhat surprised I thought as close as the team came to leaving the town of New Orleans last year that there'd be a great groundswell of patience for the team since they've gotten them back I don't see that I see a great undercurrent of unrest and I don't think the fans in New Orleans will give this team an awful lot of time should they get off to a struggling start well we're looking forward to the kickoff and that kickoff is coming up is just moments away Martin Anderson pre uh, prepares the kickoff and it looks like Adams and Lionel James will be deep kick will be taken about three yards deep by Curtis Adams he's out to the five the ten the fifteen the twenty for a moment there he didn't appear to want to take the football out of the end zone and did he brought it out to about the 22 yard line so we're underway final preseason game of 1985 Jim mentioned that the one thing you want to do is come out of this game without an injury you might see a finesse game here tonight rather than a physical game Bob uh, I make it Bruce Matheson will be the starting quarterback and he is the guy that we expected to see if his hand was healthy Mark Herman, the number three quarterback, uh, has not played in preseason yet. High back, something you probably won't see in the regular season, and the handoff goes to the right side, Ernest Jackson. And Jackson gets it out to about the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Number 20. So that'll bring up second down in about seven is Bruce Clark, Tony Elliott, and Jim Wilkes will start on the front down lineman for the Saints. The linebacking core will be headed up by all-pro Ricky Jackson. Glenn Red is the starter tonight, along with Dennis Winston and Whitney Paul. Red still in place of Doc Kovac. The secondary, Waymer and Poe at the corners, and Gary and Watlett at the safety. Second down, and wanting to throw is Matheson out of the backfield. Complete and out to about the 27-yard line. Not much room, and Jackson, Ernest Jackson, gets it out to a couple of yards. We'll call it about third down and five coming up. Paul and Bruce Matheson, a third-year player out of Nebraska, is in there. Third and five, and a split backfield, wanting to pass Matheson incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth and five, and the Saints will get This week, we've got Moschenko, who's kicked a 58-yarder in the preseason. Kick is away, and it is a short one. Eric Martin is deep and won't have a chance to field it. It's going to bounce around the inside the 30, inside the 25, and be downed at about the 23-yard line. The short punt, but it bounced on the 23. And Dave Wilson will be the starting quarterback. Along with Earl Campbell and Hokie Gaijan on the backfield, Dave Wilson getting the fourth consecutive start in preseason. Goodlow and Martin will be the wide receivers. Hobie Brenner, again, the tight end. Martin, the surprise of training camp so far. The interior line... Uh, Bolstered by Steve Cord at center, and of course, 
They've got Ralph Williams, who plays just about everywhere in there, and it's a good thing they've got him with all the injuries at guard. First and ten, I back Earl Campbell, right side. He's going to get out to about the 27-yard line. Number 35, Earl. So that's a gain of almost five yards on a first down carry. Very vanilla offense for both ball clubs here as we're getting underway. Williams, Ian, and Ferguson, the down lineman for the Chargers. King Green, Billy Ray Smith. What a player he has been in college and pros. And Bradley, the, the uh, linebackers. Walters and Davis, the cornerbacks. Bird and Jeffrey Dale out, out of LSU is the free safety, the starter, a rookie. Second down, five, 28-yard line. Dave Wilson, handoff, straight ahead, Gaijan, trying to get to the left side and gets it close to the 30-yard line. He's about three yards short of a first down. That'll bring up second, a very shaky secondary, and we'll talk more about that as the game develops. Third down and three, and the Saints are going with three wide receivers. Nickel defense for the Chargers. Short yardage play. Wilson wanting to throw, has to complete to Martin on a good catch at the 40. First down out to the 45-yard line. Boy, you talk about some good hands. He just reached up. Herb hands, and he has been the find of this draft thus far. A seventh rounder out of LSU, a kick return specialist as a freshman with the Tigers, didn't return kicks later on, but he'll return kicks this year in 1985 for the New Orleans Saints. High backs, wide outs left and right, good low in motion, farther out to the right, and the handoff goes to Campbell straight ahead, and he gets banged around a little bit, and he gets maybe two yards out to the 47-yard line. That'll bring up an area of great concern for them in Brad Edelman's absence, also Calvin Clark's. Second and eight, good low to the left, Martin to the right, one back offense, motion on the line, no flags, dropping to throw is Wilson under pressure, unloads it to Brenner, incomplete, and back at the 41-yard line, Dave Wilson's season, as is Bum Phillips. Shotgun formation for the Saints on third down and eight, three wide receivers going out, Wilson having to dance around, chased out of the pocket, fires incomplete, almost picked off. Very close to an interception. You had Earl Wilson chasing Dave Wilson, trying to find uh, Eric Martin, a rookie out of the uh, LSU. And I tell you, he goes to Eric Martin in third down situations a lot. Brian Hansen back to punt, gets it away. The pro bowler has a beauty, high sailing spiral. It'll be fielded at the 11 yard line. Like Lionel James hit by Scotty Pelour out up to the 18 yard line. I'm surprised he fielded that ball, but he was able to get five or six yards on the return being in Southern California. First and 10 from the 18. Pitch out goes to Ernest Jackson. Chargers have it out to the 25 yard line on a good hard run by Jackson. Hit by Frank and went to the Pro Bowl. The only member of the Chargers to do so. High back slot left formation handoff straight ahead. Looks like Adams will get it out to about the 28 29 yard line. Very close to a first down on second down four. He's going to be close enough. You want to wish John Paul Young a speedy recovery. I think he had a problem with a disc. And David Wehmer says specifically, Larry, you tell uh, John Paul that uh, I'm going to pick one off for him tonight. Yeah, and Ricky Jackson's. Gil Bird, a strong safety for the Chargers defense on the sideline with a headset on talking upstairs probably to find out what's going on and what to do when they get back on defense, which is hopefully soon. A swing pass. Second down six, ball at the 33-yard line. And off straight ahead and a big pile up there maybe out to the 35 yard line we'll give him a gain of three but and hogue the safeties gary the nickelback split backfield third down a long three from the 35 pass deflected and caught by the quarterback for a loss inside the 30 at the 29 yard line matheson threw the ball it was deflected by a defensive lineman and caught in the air he would have been better off dropping the ball yeah he would have but he gets a reception and a completion, so it helps that record pretty good. He catches it himself. Looked like it was Bruce Clark in the middle of that line who got a big paw up, and Matheson doesn't get many completions or many chance to complete passes, so he was going to take advantage of it if it meant getting it himself. He's an interesting story. Only threw 33 passes in his collegiate career at Nebraska. Punt formation now on fourth down and 10. Boshenko's left-footed boot is better than the first one, sailing down to Eric Martin. Fair catch taken at the 26-yard line. He had David Rackley up front to block for him, but Eric misjudged that ball. He stepped up, and then Eric Martin, the rookie, comes out wide to the left. Eye backs behind Dave Wilson. Wide out to the right is Eugene Goodlow. Tight end is Hobie Brenner lined up on the right side. Handoff Gaijan straight ahead, and Hokey moves the big pileup out to about the 30-yard line. So he gains four. We'll call it second down, six coming up. 
Hokey leading the team in preseason average per rush, just as he did during the regular season last year when he averaged six yards per carry. This year he's for a pickup of about five. So it's second down and officially five yards to go for the first down just across the 30 yard line. Split backfield behind Wilson with Eric Martin on the right side this time as Wilson drops the throw. Looks down the middle, fires complete, tight end. Brenner has it at the 40, and that should be enough for a first down out near the 41-yard line. He says the best football player I've ever been around is Billy Ray Smith, and that was when Billy Ray played for him in Arkansas. High backfield again, first and 10. Guy John, left side, big hole, 45, 50, 45 again, and out of bounds on the near sideline, down to the Charger 40-yard line. First penetration for either ball club tonight. On a good run for Hokie Gaijan. He was finally pulled down out of bounds. Wrinkle we haven't seen there before. A soccer play, really, when you've got the guard coming around. In the case of Ralph Williams leading Hokie Gaijan, it was a fake toss and sweep to the right. Came back along the other way and a counter and a big pickup for Hokie, who hits that hole very quickly and with a great deal of explosion. And the Saints now down to the 40-yard line of the Chargers, first and 10. And Jeffrey Dale out of LSU, the free safety, a rookie, was the man who finally got him bumped out of bounds on the near sideline first and 10 40 yard line straight ahead right side this time looks like Earl Campbell will get it down to near the 35 yard line St. Ian a third year nose tackle out of BYU one goes 265 Ian court 271 second down five yards to go play action pass Wilson drops the throw over the middle leaping effort incomplete Eric Martin tried to go up and pull it down and could not grab a hold of the ball and went all the way into the end zone and out of it incomplete and down here good low wide to the left slot right formation with Jeff growth coming in motion back to the left side dropping the throw Dave Wilson on third down over the middle a nice catch by Hokey guys John inside the 30 should be enough for a first down do they rule it complete that's the key and I believe they did the ball was poorly thrown behind Hokey who had to reach back and pull here. This drive started at their own 26 yard line. Now it's first and 10 at the Charger 29. First quarter, no score, 519 to play. One back offense. Wilson to throw, going for it all. Toward Brenner. Brenner, no, it's incomplete at the five yard line. He reached out trying to make the grab, could not hold on. Penalty flag was dropped. And Bird was on the coverage, the strong safety, Gil Bird, a third year man out of San Jose State. Saints were in their ace backfield with two tight ends. Brenner was one of them crossing from right to left. He had a step on Bird, but the ball just slightly overthrown. There's a flag down on the play, and we'll see who it's going to go against. Gordon McCarter is the referee. Outside, number 99, lined up in the neutral zone. First down, five. And that's Lee Williams, who has come over to San Diego from the USFL. He played in eight games last year for the Chargers. But he played with the LA Express also in 84. He was a number one draft choice, a supplemental draft in 84 from Bethune Cookman. That brings up first and five now from the Charger 24. One back offense, play action pass, faking to Campbell. Wilson steps up, throws complete at the 10 yard line. Nice catch by Eugene Goodlow. And Dave Wilson threw that ball right over the head of the cornerback, Wayne Davis. Of the week, he thinks he'll be elsewhere. First and goal just inside the 10 yard line. They cannot get a first down. In motion, Gaijan, the wham block. Handoff, right side, Campbell down to the five yard line. That'll bring up second and goal from the five. Line up in Washington, but the question is, of course, how many years more can Earl Campbell run compared with George Rogers? Good low to the left in motion, Guy John. Handoff on second and goal to Campbell. Hit behind the line, but he skirms his way inside to the four yard line. Good defensive play that almost stopped him for a loss by Carlos Bradley out of Wake Forest. The first quarter, no score. Saints ball, third down and goal at the Charger four yard line. One back offense, Guy John. In motion, Jeff Grove dropping to throw. Wilson fires in zone, touchdown. The grab is made by Eric Martin of LSU. Boy, what an impact player he has been for the Saints, a seventh round draft choice. Well, we remember back in the first preseason game against the Patriots, Martin was running a pattern in the end zone. When he found the coverage, he just stopped, and Dave Wilson found him. Same thing occurred here. He was in double coverage, but found himself between 
Jeffrey Dale and the cornerback just stopped about a yard into the end zone and Dave Wilson really had some mustard on that fastball and connected for the touchdown. And Mark Natterson will be called on now for the extra point try. Guido Merkins will hold. Waiting for the snap. Placement is made. Kick is up. And it is good. So the Saints score first in their second possession of the game. A 74-yard drive in 11 plays. And a timeout for the score. The Saints 7, the Chargers nothing. Completed 7 to nothing here in the first quarter with 3.01 to play as Morton Anderson prepares to kick off. Eric Martin of LSU. Anderson boots it deep right down the middle. Lionel Little Train James takes it about nine yards deep in the end zone. He'll sit it down right there. Lionel's only five, six and a half. Seven, nothing. First and 10, ball at the 20-yard line. Quarterback is Matheson, wants to drop and throw with eye backs behind him. Now he wants to throw out of the backfield. He'll be chased out of the backfield by Bruce Clark, and he'll be run out of bounds by Whitney Paul across the way, up to about the 24-yard line. Unless Mark Herman shows something here tonight, the quarterbacking duties of the Chargers, they could certainly be suspect. Tim Spencer on second down six, running wide to the left. Gets it out to about the 26-yard line, a gain of almost three. That'll Third down and a long three. It's officially four. Quick count, quick snap, handoff, little train James. Got speed, gets it outside to the 30 and out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Russell Gary finally bumped him out. He might have had some help there from Terry Hogue, who had come up nominally a return man on kickoffs, but he's been running the ball out of the backfield. First and 10, dropping to throw. Matheson complete across midfield down to the 45-yard line of the Saints and a nice catch by Trumaine Johnson. Now here's another one of the USFL products who is going to make an impact on this Charger club. Listed as a rookie out of Grambling, but of course he's played with Chicago and Arizona in the USFL. A fine leaping grab by Trumaine Johnson. He's been a very frequent target during preseason. He's got a year's worth of rust on him because he sat out the last USFL season in a contract dispute. And they've thrown the ball a lot to him. He was already the leading receiver in that league in 1983, then sat out 84. So he was the best receiver in the league the rookie year. Pitch out. Jackson running wide right. Dennis Dirt Winston coming up quickly to make the tackle. What was Dennis uh, saying? A bear along the sideline is expected to see considerable action in the second half tonight. Handoff. Spencer had nowhere to go. Found some running room and got it down to the 40 yard line. Pretty good bit of run. He is a very mild mannered and meek person to talk to but you always see him with that same expression on the sideline scowling. Third down six. Lionel James on the pitch out. Lionel gets it down to the 35 yard line. This little guy, five, six and a half, they list him at five, seven, but he's really not that tall. 170 pounder, was a fifth round draft choice out of Auburn. He's in his second year and, well, it's gonna wrap up the first quarter with his run down to the 35 yard line. So a timeout here at the end of one quarter of play, it's Saints seven and the Chargers nothing. Seven nothing at the end of one quarter of play and during the timeout, the Chargers have decided apparently to go for it. They've got fourth and one just inside the, well, right at the 35-yard line. First foray for the Chargers into Saints territory here as they try to mount an offensive threat as the second quarter is just about to begin. Let's go down to the field and pick it up. Everybody in tight. Fourth down, a yard to go, and a missed snap by the quarterback, Matheson, and a fumble, and he falls right back down on it, and the Saints will have it on the fourth down, and no first down. Boy, that's 35-yard line, Saints ball, first down, 10 yards to go. High backs, wide outs left and right. Quarterback now is Richard Todd, and he's going to pitch out to Earl Campbell. Gets some running room, makes a cutback, and gets it out to the 42, 43 yard line. So Dave Wilson quarterbacks the first quarter and puts up a seven spot. Now it's Richard Todd going with the first uh, unit, both offensive line and uh, backfield with him. The same you just might see that because I doubt if they'll bring Dave Wilson back usually because of that shoulder once he's out they like to leave him out wide outs left and right second down three yards to go handoff Campbell spins his way out of the pileup gets close to first down yardage across the 45 and against Kansas City in the regular season opener should get probably three quarters of action here tonight short of a first down it'll bring up third down Campbell and Gaijan as the running backs three tight ends one in the backfield as a wing back he goes in motion Larry Hardy quarterback is tied handoff Campbell straight ahead first down out to the 48 yard line so on third down and a foot they get the first down out to the almost the 49 
Ruse. First and 10, 49 yard line, slot left formation. Todd play action pass, his first pass of the night. Steps up in the pocket, pass deflected incomplete. Almost batted down uh, into the hands of the man who batted it down, Tony Chiquillo, who's from Miami. And 10 yards to go. 13-10 to play in the first half. Saints lead it 7-0 in Jack Murphy Stadium. Larry Matson with Jim Henderson dropping to throw. Todd, lots of time. Looking to the right sideline. Pass complete to Wayne Wilson. And he caught it with the cast on that right hand. And he catches it at the Charger 45-yard line. A tier veteran. He has really done it all for the Saints over the years. Return man, receiver, and running back. And fullback. First and 10. Hand on there is Wayne Wilson running the ball. 40, 35, down to the 32-yard line. Dodging, darting, moving. He's big enough to run over you. He's quick enough to run past you. And he gets a first down on a fine run down to the Charger 31-yard line. And credit an excellent block to number 61. That was Joel Hilgenberg pulling from his left guard position, coming over, blocking in front of Wayne Wilson and opening a very big hole. Saints football, first down 10, ball at the 31-yard line of San Diego. Eugene Goodlow goes out wide to the left. Eric Martin wide to the right. Quarterback is Richard Todd. He started the second period, dropping to throw out of the backfield. Campbell, screen pass, hit, and knocked down hard just inside the 30-yard line. For a moment there, it appeared he might have. He's been moved this year from strong inside linebacker to weak inside linebacker to take advantage of his wide-ranging capabilities. At the 29-yard line, second down, eight, dropping to throw. Todd going to the end zone, trying to go to Martin, incomplete at the goal line. Richard got smacked as he unloaded the pass. Martin going step for step down the sideline, tried to, to make the grab, but it was just overthrown. Good defense. Martin would better ever be much happier making the catch, of course. 7-0 Saints, 11.04 to play. First half, third down, eight. Ball at the 29, Todd to throw. Right side, Jeff Groth complete at the 22 and down to the 20-yard line. Nice tackle down there by Lucius Smith from Fullerton State. He has been around the league, Kansas City, L.A., Buffalo, and now with the Chargers, a six-year veteran. Just a simple square out by Groth who read the sticks and was able to pick up the first down yardage. Chargers were bringing both of their inside linebackers on the blitz. Todd went down under it, but not before he delivered to Jeff Groth, who probably has the best hands of any wide receiver on the Saints. And Jeff had 33 receptions last year. He led the receivers as far as receivers go. Hokey Gaijan was the leading receiver out of the backfield with 35. First and 10, ball at the Charger 20. Hand off right side inside the 20 down near the 18 goes Earl Campbell maybe even the 17 and Bum Phillips just got out here tonight or today because he stayed over last night to be with John Paul second and seven guys on right side big hole 15 10 down to the seven yard line and off the number you give him any kind of room at all he barrels through like a bulldozer well if Bobby coming in it tonight first and goal at the San Diego seven Campbell with a pitch out to the six, to the five, and he tried to sneak under. Jeffrey Dale knocked him down. He gets it down to the five-yard line, I think is where they'll mark it, although he fell to almost the, the three. Play yourself out of it or play yourself into it. Second and goal, five-yard line. Play action, looking right, throwing left. Todd incomplete, trying to go to Eugene Goodlow. And he was there, it was a timing play, and the ball got there a little early, perhaps, or perhaps Goodlow was a little late in making the cut, but it looked like it was going to be a sure six. One thing Richard does not do well is look off the secondary. Usually, who he begins looking at initially, he eventually throws the ball to. But that time, he was looking right, and then at the last second, it looked like a pre-designed play. He went to the left and found the signal coverage of Lucius Smith against Goodlow, but could not connect. Saints football, third and goal at the San Diego five-yard line. 8-13 to play, first half action. In motion, throws to the right side. Todd, the quarterback, drops straight back. Looks across the middle, throws behind the receiver incomplete. Goodlow was the intended receiver, and Lucius Smith was covering. And I'll tell you what, he had him wrapped up pretty good on that goal line. Yeah, Joe Merkins, Joel Hilgenberg. Nope, it looks like it's going to, yeah, it will be Hilgenberg on the snap. Waiting for the snap, placement is down, kick is up. 
and the field goal is good. We'll call it right now a 23-yard field goal for Morton Anderson. A timeout here in San Diego with 8.05 to play in the first half. The score now, the Saints 10 and the Chargers nothing. Porter was 5 of 10 for 49 yards, and the touchdown pass to Martin was not intercepted, nor was he sacked. Wilson has not been sacked the entire preseason. Line drive kick finally picked up at the 5-yard line by Curtis Adams, who runs past Bobby Fowler and gets it out to the 17-yard line. I don't know if that was by design or not, but if it wasn't, Martin missed that ball poorly. He must have hit the top half of the football. The way you're going to find out who could cover on a Offside. kick is to get a run back. 46, kicking team, 5-yard penalty, 3 